Good day and welcome to Mission Control Houston, where a team of flight controllers is watching over the systems aboard the International Space Station, currently populated by three crew members, one American and two Russians. Uh, Kevin Ford is the commander of the space station. He uh, originates from NASA and, of course, the United States. Oleg Novitsky and Yevgeny Tarelkin are his uh, cohorts on board. They're both from the Russian Federal Space Agency uh, and uh, are working together to keep the space station in good working order and to conduct research aboard that orbiting outpost. They're also getting ready for the arrival of uh, three additional crew members, uh, NASA's Tom Marshburn, Canada's Chris Hadfield, and Russia's Roman Romanenko, who are scheduled to launch from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan early tomorrow. Here in Mission Control today, the team of flight controllers is led by Flight Director Dina Cantella. She is working with spacecraft communicator Clay Anderson, a veteran space station astronaut. On orbit today, Kevin Ford is working on a variety of activities ranging from experiment work to maintenance. Uh, he performs some upkeep on the Madaka fish experiment. Uh, that is an experiment in which a, a new, newly arrived experiment uh, uh, from the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, one of the international partners uh, for the International Space Station, and it looks at uh, how bones react to the microgravity environment using the tiny Madaka fish as analogs for human skeleton systems. He also routed some uh, local area network cables uh, through the space station into the cupola. The cupola is that 360-degree bay window that provides the astronauts a wonderful window on the Earth below and also a good place to conduct robotic arm operations so that they can see anything that happens to be within that field of view. The uh, cupola is attached to the space station's tranquility module. And that LAN cable routing is intended to improve the uh, computer connectivity within the uh, International Space Station's 360-degree uh, window. That uh, cupola section was built by uh, the uh, Italian Space Agency in support of a European Space Agency contribution to the International Space Station. Also today, he is performing some maintenance on the uh, combined operational load-bearing experimental treadmill system uh, known as Colbert or also T2 because it's the second treadmill on board the International Space Station. But he's doing it with minimal help from mission control today. This is uh, one of a number of different experiments that are designed to prepare this team and the crew on board for days ahead when we'll go to more distant destinations and have potentially really long communication delays. Uh, this test is also going to help improve procedure development so that crews can work more effectively without a lot of back and forth communication that has become a standard of human spaceflight operations for decades. At this time. Meanwhile, uh, Oleg Davitsky worked on uh, the uh, Coulomb crystal experiment. Uh, that experiment again studies the dynamics of solids that are dispersed in environments that have a magnetic field that varies in microgravity. He also completed some onboard training uh, in his role as the crew medical officer. And uh, Evgeny Terelkin downloaded data from uh, the radiation sensors in the Russian end of the space station and worked on packing up the uh, Progress 48 vehicle, a resupply vehicle that has now been emptied all of all the uh, equipment and supplies that are going to be used on the space station and now is being transformed into a giant trash receptacle so that that can be disposed of when it burns up during its reentry. The crew has uh, several different Earth observation opportunities uh, as they look at the home planet below. Currently, the space station orbiting over South America on a northeasterly track. Uh, targets for Earth observations today include uh, a volcano in Ecuador, uh, which is that opportunity is coming up, uh, which has had several explosions in the past few days. Uh, the Ganges River Delta in India, uh, eastern Cuba, and a tropical cyclone Evan, which is now a category three storm that is moving toward New Zealand. Meanwhile, at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan, uh, Barshburn, Romanenko, and Hadfield uh, conducted a crew news conference earlier today. And uh, we have photos available on the internet. 
And uh, again, that launch is scheduled for in the early morning hours tomorrow, U.S. time. Our coverage begins at 5 a.m. Central Time, 6 Eastern, with uh, the following coverage leading up to a 6.12 a.m. Central Time Soyuz TMA-07M launch. And then after the launch, we'll have a 9 a.m. Central Time post-launch video file. Friday, the coverage will focus on docking uh, as the uh, rendezvous nears its co completion. Uh, docking coverage begins at 7.30 a.m. Central Time, and then docking itself is scheduled for 8.12 a.m. Once uh, the uh, two spacecraft have been solidly connected and all of the seals checked, uh, the hatches will be opened at 10.15 a.m. Central Time, and then we'll look forward to coverage of the hatch opening and welcoming ceremonies as the six crew members uh, greet each other at 10.45 a.m. Central Time. Our post-docking and hatch opening video file is planned for 1 p.m. Central. With the International Space Station uh, traveling overhead of uh, Brazil and the Amazon Basin. This is Mission Control Houston.